Hello friends and welcome to bispsolutions.com with my partner Tricon Technology. My name is Amit and today we see how to use dynamic time series in planning a budgeting form. So I show you the requirement and then we see how to build data form which would have dynamic time series. So we start with our requirement. I need to prepare a data form where my planners are going to input plan data for the future value. So this is the template. If you look at carefully, um, I have a different types of operating expenses and rows and in column I have different months and I like to use the dynamic time series over here called history to date. In addition to this we have scenario and version, plan and working and different product and different entities. So I would be using children of international sales and for current year. So let's prepare this template and you see how to use dynamic times is over here. So we start with login with our workspace. And as I'm going to create a new data form, I'll go to navigate page and click on form. I already created one folder over here. A temporary folder where we create our temporary data form. There are two options create data form and create composite data form. Simple and composite. I would create a simple data form and define various properties. Start with actual versus plan. And then you can define description and other instructions. This information often you get from your business users. Then define layout. So this already exists. I use test. You define layout. So we follow the template and prepare a layout accordingly. In my rows, I will use account dimension, children of operating expenses. So I drag and drop account. It's fairly simple. And choose the children of operating expenses. I also like to use alias name rather than using real name. So I use alias name children of operating expenses which is my 7001 account number I use descendant all the descendant I can use a function descendant children ancestor parent sibling I use descendant over here and we define account as alias name in the column I use scenario working version scenario plan and time period so i use scenario version and time period so i need to use two column one for typical month and one for ytd so let me define page first in my point of view, I continue to use HSP view, which is base data and product and year and entity I would be using in my page. So here I love to use variable called current year. If you look at your edit option, there is an option called variable. You can use substitution variable. So you have various substitution variable. I would be using year four. Ampersand and name the variable and product. So I like to use alias name. Product I use no product because this planning is not specific to the individual product. So I select product and use alias name. For entity also I like to use alias. Base data is already alias and here I use alias. For entity I use international sales. which is my 401 403 it's a sales so I can use multiple children of sales I like to swap this product I prefer to use in my page 
and sorry point of view and entity I would use in my page because I am writing this for individual product so entity now I use children of 403 which is international sales I use sales and all the descendant of sales and then you continue to be using alias name scenario I use two column so first me select the scenario scenario would be working version and scenario is plan version is working version and period I use children of half year so I use all the descendant of quarter 1 and quarter 2 and I like to use an alias over here as well because I need to use dynamic time series therefore I am going to create one more column right click and add one more column keep everything same but rather than using your period you can use manually type dynamic time series and define a specific month alternatively you can select from your drop down as well now drop down if you scroll down there is an option called dynamic time series select a month June and when you scroll down in the bottom there is an option called dynamic time series so you can use any one of these two way the template is ready I click on save and we test it now and see this is exactly what we wanted so I exit the navigation mode and go to my data mode where you can open your data form into run mode plan one is a folder open your data form input some number and validate this is no product year international sales this is my existing data I will input new value for my utility expenses this is my plan utility expenses for January February March as you input number the number rolls up and this is where you can see dynamic time series value total history to date 370 so this quarter one would be calculated only for first quarter however dynamic time series calculate for entire period so I input this for April and you see see this is sum of first three months which is 370 plus 200 for April which is 570 so this is how you can use dynamic time series please stay tuned to our YouTube channel and you can mail your queries to support.bspsolutions.com. Thank you and have a great day.